Assalamu alaikum my dear viewers I hope you all are doing fine with the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Welcome to Alia's kitchen As all of you know that Ramadan is just a month away so we are making especially those recipes which you can make earlier and freeze them so you will save a lot of time and you can do more ibadah during Ramadan time Our today's recipe is galawati kebab or chicken or beef patties you can say so let's start our ingredients now so bismillahir rahmanir rahim here are our ingredients now so first of all this is 1 pound minced beef oil for frying 1 egg 1 teaspoon turmeric powder 1 tablespoon poppy seeds 1 tablespoon sesame seeds 1 teaspoon garam masala powder 1 teaspoon meat tenderizer 3 tablespoon chopped mint, 2 green chilies, 2 tablespoon soy sauce, 2 tablespoon roasted gram flour, 1 tablespoon Kashmiri chili powder. Salt and chilies are according to your own taste. 1 teaspoon salt, 4 tablespoon chopped cilantro. This is fried onions. What I did that I took just two uh, medium sized onions and I just deep fried them. 1 tablespoon garlic paste 1 tablespoon ginger paste so let's start our recipe now this way so this recipe is so simple and easy to make so our first step is that we are adding the cilantro in here so first we will chop these are already chopped if you are making in food processor so then you don't need to chop it because it will be chopped already in the food processor so now we are adding fried onions bismillah and now we are adding this mint 3 tablespoon mint okay and now here is the case so bismillah hai bismillah it's done now we are adding all ingredients now salt chili powder kashmiri chili powder don't forget this is kashmiri chili powder if you are using regular chili powder so don't add that much you can use 1 teaspoon of regular chili powder but if you are using kashmiri chili powder so then you can add easily 1 tablespoon chili powder and this is 1 tablespoon roasted gram flour what i did just roasted in a drying pan i did add any oil or anything okay so here is soy sauce 2 tablespoon of soy sauce here is our ginger garlic paste 1 tablespoon of ginger paste 1 tablespoon of garlic paste here is all our spices 1 teaspoon of turmeric bismillah now 1 tablespoon of poppy seeds this 1 tablespoon of sesame seeds is done 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder and 1 teaspoon of meat tenderizer here are our two green chilies so we will add it everything will be mixed as you can see everything all the masalas and all the green things are mixed now now we will add meat in it bismillah and now we will close it so this is done bismillah now we will take this out as you can see this is very well mixed you don't need to do anything machine will do it for you if you don't have food processor then you can mix by hand that's fine so we will take it out bismillah we just take it out all the meat from the food processor now we are adding one egg bismillah 
This is large one egg. So we will marinate this meat for at least three hours or it's best if you will marinate it for overnight. Okay, so we will marinate it for three hours. This is our last step and that is frying. So Bismillah rahman rahim and we are shallow frying now. So it is approximately half cup. So this is our marinated beef. Now we will make kebabs. First of all, so just apply one to two drops of oil on your ham. So your kebabs will be very smooth. Bismillah. So just take it. Then flat it. Just a round shape. Bismillah. Because these are greasy, so you can see these are very smooth. For example, you took like this, made a ball. Make sure that your hands are washed and clean. You can see these are so smooth. Our burner was already on and we will fry these kebabs on medium to high flame. So, as you can see, these are frying. Bismillah. Because we add egg and gram flour, so this, this binding is so good. I'm sure you will love this recipe. And you will love these kebabs. And it is very easy to make. And you can easily freeze them, fry them during sehri and um, in dinner whenever you want. So now we will take these out. So let me tell you how we can freeze them for Ramadan. Okay. So this is the baking tray and now you can put the plastic on top of it or we are using wax paper and now just make kebabs put oil in your hands two to three drops and then make kebabs and keep them in a single layer like this keep them in a single layer and then you can put again the another plastic wrap or another wax paper layer. And then you can put another layer of kebabs on top of it and then just freeze it. Once it will get freeze, so then you can take it out and you can put it in the Ziploc bags. Let me tell you the air fryer method too, how we can air fry them. So just make kebabs. So for example, here are our two kebabs and we will air fry them. Keep them, we don't need to uh, spray oil or anything like that and I will put them in for 30 minutes on 400 degree Fahrenheit in Gourmet brand. This is email live so I will keep them for 15 minutes on 400 Fahrenheit. In the meantime our kebabs are air frying so here are the kebabs which I freeze earlier to show you so they are all freeze now we will just put it in the back and just mention it that these are clavity kebabs that's it or you can at this stage you can put them in a, any box also any plastic box which you can uh, keep it in the fridge safely so you can freeze them and use it during the ramadan as you know these kebabs are just done now you can see perfect right you can see the traces of oil even though we did not mix any single drop of oil during our meat marination so here is our shallow fried kebabs and these are our air fried kebabs there is no difference as you can see it and we will garnish it with some chopped onions so here's the time for tasting the kebabs and here is our chief guest, Abdul Basit, who will taste these kebabs. <laughs> Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. How's the kebabs? Let me know. It's good. 
Thank you, Abdul Basis. So, kids approved. I hope and I'm sure, inshallah ta'ala, you will love these kebabs. Uh, please try it at home and let me know how's your experience. Take care and see you next week at the same time. Assalamu alaikum.